when they meet people. And um, whether it's at the game, whether it's at practice. And that's so much a part of it because these guys are getting such an opportunity to do what they love. And the more that they can share it and see it with other people that, that go through struggles too, it puts ours in a great perspective. And because uh, ours are controllable. We've just got to continue to, to play with an urgency defensively like we did today. Uh, we've got to continue to look for opportunities. We had 63 deflections. Um, uh, we had guys that, that did a great job. OG had 18, seven steals. That, that's a very good number. Um, Jawan was having a tremendous game, you know, before he got hurt. I don't have any update on that right now, so I can't, I can't uh, give you anything more there. Um, but our defense was good. The game, again, I say this so much, and it's true. The game has always given you something. And the maturity process is when it's not giving you what you want it to give you, okay, you've got to find a way to get something else. So we had some open shots. They challenged some shots. Uh, we didn't make as many today, all right? There, we didn't get as many offensive rebounds. But we were able to get back on defense. We were able to set our defense. Um, we were able to rebound the ball. Uh, we were able to, to create the turnovers, get our fast break going. Um, and um, even though we didn't win the rebounding game, um, you know, we were able to get some timely ones. So for us, it's, it, there's a lot of different ways to play. And um, there's a lot of different guys that can get in there and play. But it all comes down to the urgency level. And, uh, and, and playing as solid as we can. Because until our communication uh, gets to an acceptable level, um, we're going to have to have that urgency constantly. And, um, and that, that's really, really going to be important. So um, happy with the win. We've got to continue to improve. Go ahead. Coach, 14 steals, 33 points off of turnovers. The players talked about getting into the passing lane, getting into the gap. Is that a priority today? Well, it's a priority not to gamble. Right, because we're not quick enough to get up and just overplay, and um, and then snap your head and grab the backdoor pass. We got a couple of those today, but but um, that's an awareness thing. You know, when your awareness is high and when your urgency level is high, then you're much better at that. You know, when you're out there and you're and you're you're not locked in to to two things at once, which is defending your man but also playing the ball, or when the person behind you is not locked into helping, let you know that he's back there to help you at the same time being able to play the ball and being able to play his man, you know, those things get hard. But um, we, we wanted to be active, no question about it. Uh, we wanted to set the tone with the defense, and, um, and we thought that we did. It seemed like when Devontae Curtis and Deron were out there, especially early, it seemed like they gave you guys a little bit of a jolt. How important mm -hmm. was that? Just no, it's good. Yeah, they're getting better. There's no question about that. And uh, they're improving, and, um, but a long way to go. Uh, long way to go, maturity-wise. Long way to go, uh, you know, understanding that urgency, and um, long way to go when it comes to understanding how efficient you have to be possession by possession. That's that's the hardest thing for any young player to really grasp is how important every possession is. You know, how important every screen you set, every pass you make, every shot you take, every trip and transition, and um, it takes time for that to be understood. It really does, and and. Um, that we have to continue to learn to get better. But I thought they, uh, I thought all three of those guys gave us um, really good lift, you know, inside of the game. I guess to, to sort of a parallel question to that, but you've talked about a lot of guys on this team sort of still needing to grow into roles. Is that, I mean, for those three especially, is that kind of a big part of their role is being able to kind of give you some of that, whether it's points, rebounds, whatever it is yeah. from the bench? Yeah, play on demand, right? I mean, and, and be ready to go into the game and impact the game like we talked about yesterday. Impact the game with your energy. Impact the game with being in the right spot. Move the ball and uh, just come in and literally play hard, right? Just play hard. And playing hard doesn't mean I have to attack the rim the first time I get it or take a shot the first time I touch it, you know? Uh, playing hard means being I'm locked into the game. I'm locked into talking to my teammates. And, and uh, I'll let the game come to me on offense, but I'm going to bring my energy and my urgency and my, my awareness to the defensive end. Tom, was it the defense that sparked the uh, you know, that you always say start and cut you off? I don't know. I'd imagine. Yeah, i got to go back and watch it. So. You guys jumped out 17 nothing points off turnovers uh, early on. How, how important was that on both sides, getting them and, and then not making them? Uh, it was big. I mean, it's big that we can create some turnovers like that. Like I said earlier, we've got to get better at that. And, um, 
and uh, keep building our defense. One of the things I told this team before the game is, is that uh, you know we're undefeated this year and we've got an unbelievable record over the last five plus years. You got me thinking about stats, so I went and looked at uh, some. Of, I, I didn't use any of your numbers, all right? Because I didn't think they were relevant. But I went and looked at the. Uh, I went and looked at you know what these guys had been when they held the team to that level. So. Um, and we had guys that hadn't lost too many games when, when they had, when we'd held a team under 40%, you know, from the field. So that was important that we get off to that. And, and, uh, that field goal percentage defense is never going to be very high if you're giving up live ball turnovers to the other team, no matter how good you defend. So, uh, even though they shot a better percentage at times today, we, 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 we played a consistent game, not a great game, not a perfect game by any stretch, but a consistent game of being active defensively and uh, not having too many game plan errors. Coach, you talked about yesterday OG needing to find that extra gear. Did you feel like that was Yeah, I don't know. You know, I got to evaluate the game from the film. So, I mean, everybody can get better. You know what I mean, so I'm not in a great uh, place to be hypothesizing on where everybody's at right now. We just all got to get better. Anybody else? Go ahead. I know you've only played two true road games, but is that next challenge for this team? The next game's the next challenge, and that happens to be on the road, so absolutely. Uh, um, it, it, it is what it is, right? We've been right there, and, and we just need to get ourselves uh, uh, in position to learn how to win, you know, and and, um, and make more uh, uh, winning basketball plays, which become down to simple decisions, you know, execution, having that locked-in mentality defensively. So... That, that's what that is. How critical is those 42 points in the paint when that team? I'm not really good with the numbers. You know, I haven't had the chance to dissect all the numbers, so I really haven't. I apologize. I, so if you get 42 points in the paint, that's good. Yeah, that's really good.